Today I'm making green chicken enchilada casserole in my slow cooker. This is going to be good. To get things started, I'm going to be using two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Here I have a 16 ounce jar of store-bought green salsa. You could also use homemade. Here I have an eight ounce block of cream cheese. I'm going to use one teaspoon of garlic powder. Today I'm using one tablespoon of dehydrated minced onion. You could also sub that with some onion powder. Here I have two and a half teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. I grinded up cumin seeds with black peppercorns. You could skip this, it's optional, but I like it. So I'm going to start placing this into my six quart crock pot. If you have a 4.5 quart crock pot, this recipe will work. The cook time may vary only because the work surface is slightly smaller, but it'll work. It's just going to look different. If you guys like this crock pot recipe, I also have a beef red sauce enchilada casserole that I make in the crock pot. And if you just want to see any other crock pot recipe, because I've been in the mood to use my crock pot, uh, just comment down below. Let me know. So the seasoning of the chicken breast is really up to you. You could keep it as simple as salt and pepper. You can use any type of rub or seasoning that you prefer. It's really up to you. Sometimes I skip on the ground cumin and sometimes I add Mexican oregano into the mix. It just depends on what I have or what I feel like seasoning it with. So now I'm going to add my block of cream cheese. By the way, this is not softened. It's still kind of cold and that's okay, but my chicken is thawed completely. So I'm going to start with my 16 ounce jar of store-bought green salsa and this is actually mild but if you like things to be spicy, then, you know, go for that. This is what I'm going to start off with. I'm going to place the lid on top and I'm going to set this to high and let it cook for four hours. If you're cooking on low, then six to eight. For this recipe, I'm going to prep 12 corn tortillas and I'm just going to cut them into pieces. I'm also going to shred eight ounces of pepper jack cheese. You could use the melty cheese that you prefer. I like pepper jack. It has been four hours of cook time, so I'm just gonna mix everything together and shred the chicken. I'm going to add my corn tortillas. I'm also going to give it a mix and add part of the shredded cheese and I'll use the rest to top it. I'm going to add another eight ounces or one cup of the green salsa on top. Now for the rest of my cheese to top it, I'm going to cover with a lid and let it continue cooking on high for another 45 minutes to an hour. Once it's done, I'm going to add chopped parsley and chopped scallions. So my casserole is done. It smells amazing and I can't wait to serve this. It's very simple to make and it's so good.
I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!